installing an action camera on the new DJI Avada 2, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. So as I mentioned in the intro today, we're going to talk about how to install the Aerial Pixel action camera mount on the new Avada 2. If you're familiar with our action camera mount for the Avada 1, uh, the Avada 1 version was a toolist installation. You didn't need any tools to put the mount on the drone. Unfortunately, that is not the case with this one. Uh, there's just not as many attachment points on this uh, drone as there was on the original Avada. So first, a little bit about the mount. Uh, the mount is a uh, two-part mount. This is a PETG material, which is very strong and flexible. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, you have an insert for the fingers that is made out of TPU. Uh, why is that important? TPU reduces vibrations from the drone to the camera, uh, so it'll reduce that jello effect that you can get uh, if there's vibrations going from the drone into the camera. So this is what you get with the mount. You obviously get the mount itself. You get an M5 bolt and nut. And then you get an Allen key that is for attaching your GoPro to the mount. And then you also get this T4 uh, Torx screwdriver. Uh, that is for removing the four screws that are on the drone that we need to remove to get the mount on. So we're going to do that part first. The four screws we need to remove are these two right here. And then the one right here on either side, there and there. Now, I'll warn you, these screws are small. You can lose them, drop them. You don't want to do that. So make sure you're in a nice wide open area that if they do fall, uh, they don't bounce onto the floor and then out of sight. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use the included T4 Torx screwdriver and we will remove these screws. They are a little bit tight to start. Um, the first time you go to get them out, they're pretty snug. Uh, just take it slow. Don't strip those screws out. All right, now that we have those four screws out, uh, you're gonna take them out and you're gonna line it up with these two back holes. And the back of the mount should be roughly flush with that rear LED just to give you a, uh, an idea of where uh, those holes are. So I'm just gonna take one of the screws and we're gonna again use the same screws that, that we just took out. There's no additional hardware needed and screw that in. It's easiest to screw the top in first. Do that for the second screw. And don't over tighten these, you just get them nice and snug. Uh, you know, you don't wanna strip out the, uh, the plastic in, in there. Um, and then lastly, we will get these on the side. These are probably the toughest of the four screws, these two side ones. Just push it into the hole and then hit it with the screwdriver. And last one, same thing. Push that into the hole. And again, just snug it down. 
And that is the installation for the mount. I do recommend once you have the mount installed, don't uh, take it off and put it on a lot. Um, you know, it just, um, you don't want to wear down those screw holes. So we are done with the T4 Torx. So we'll put that aside. All right, so now it is time to mount your action camera. Uh, the mount is compatible with any traditional GoPro style fingers, uh, like are on uh, all GoPros, as well as a lot of other action cameras out there. Before we install this, I do wanna take some time to talk about the placement of our mount. Um, the GPS is actually right here. Uh, so we are partially obscuring a portion of the GPS. In our testing, we have had very little satellite drop. Um, normally with the uh, action cameras, a lot of the uh, radio frequency interference that you get is actually off of the back of the camera. So that interference is what was causing uh, people to lose satellites and GPS on other setups. Uh, so this is actually in a pretty good location. You still get quite a bit of, uh, of GPS uh, satellite reception this way. Um, in our testing, we got between 18 and 26 satellites. Um, so still a really good, strong satellite count. And that is with uh, both the Hero 11 Mini on and recording as well as the um, Hero 12 on and recording. So to install the camera on the mount, uh, the reason why we do this instead of the big knobs that stick out, you know, the big thumb screws, um, this is a lot lower profile, uh, less likely to get snagged on something if you're going through branches, that sort of thing. Um, so this is why we prefer this method. This is a kind of traditional FPV setup, is this uh, nut and bolt instead of the large thumb screw. Um, so you just use your uh, included M3 wrench and you'll take your screw out. All right. Now go ahead and mount your action camera, just like you would on any other GoPro mount. Now we'll go ahead and line it up now go ahead and make sure that the angle of your GoPro matches what you normally set your Avada camera to. Um, I usually set mine around between 15 and 18 degrees is a pretty good number. Uh, that way your framing is identical between the two cameras. And once that's set, we'll go ahead and give it one last tighten and we are good to go. So this is a nice rock solid connection. Um, you're not gonna lose this even in crashes. It should be nice and strong for you. We will be doing a full comparison between the Avada camera as well as a traditional GoPro in an upcoming video. So make sure you're subscribed for that. So that is the end of this tutorial on how to install the action camera mount on the new Avada 2. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'd be glad to answer them there. Uh, the GoPro mount is available on our website, also on our Etsy store or our eBay store. We'll have links to that down below. Also keep an eye out for our other products that we have coming out. We have this that's already available on our Etsy store. It is a, uh, a AirTag mount and just simply clicks onto the bottom of the drone. Uh, we also have landing gear extensions. We also have bumper guards coming out shortly. So that's it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.